Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Multi Force. Today we're doing part two of the USS the Sullivans. It's a DD uh, Fletcher class destroyer, and this design is, again is built by Laffy. So please give him credit if you are building this. Uh, but anyways, let's get started first, taking out an anvil, and we're just gonna add that underneath the stairs here, just like that. And then next up, we're gonna go to each of these turrets, and in the middle of this, we're gonna add in a stone. And then an anisite wall on either side. Then we're going to add stone slab to the front and the back of it. And then two slabs towards the front of the gun. And then a cobblestone slab in the back of the gun like this. And we're going to do the same thing for all of these guns. So let's just, you know, keep on building these bottoms of the turret. And add in our slabs. This may take us a while to do though. Um, but... We're just marking like where the guns are and once you get to this point since the gun is facing that way you just build it the other direction Just like that and then our first two guns Stone block wall and a site walls stone slabs and then cobblestone slab and then this is the last one here Just like that very nice. And next we'll go off to the back again. So next we'll take out deep slate tile stairs. Add one here. Another one here. And then deep slate tile slabs. Two blocks here. Block here. And then another one here. And then a stairs. Facing the front like this. Then we're going to add light gray carpet. We'll add two here. One here. And then another two here as well as the spruce trap door, and we'll close it up right there. All right, so next we'll make the depth charge rack. So let's add in iron trap door right over here. And this is going to be um, eight blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, just like that. Then the back here, we'll add in a spruce trap door, close that up. And then we'll add in another brick fence uh, right over here, two blocks tall. Skip block two, skip block two, skip block two. And then on the other side, we'll just add one. So it kind of parallels the other side. Just like that. Then we'll add in the depth charges using polished basalt. And we want them facing, you know, sideways. So there's going to be five of them, so that's already three. And then uh, this last one, we got to make sure it's facing the right direction. Looks like that. And actually, this one actually goes to the front, so put it like that. All right, then we'll add in iron trap doors in between these um, fences right above it slightly, just like that. And then we'll add in end rods in this gap here for these two fences. Um, just like so. Alright, so next we'll add in a diorite wall right here. Polished diorite block. Polished diorite slab. And then a stairs underneath. With a birch fence gate and open that up. Next, we'll go on the side here. We'll add in uh, two iron uh, bars like that. And then four iron bars aside. So one, two, three, four. And then a polished deep slate or just a deep slate tile slab like so. All right, so next we'll take out a stone brick block. We'll add one next to this one and next to this one. Um, and then we'll skip the block here, add another one here. And we're gonna add three on a diagonal. Then we'll add in, so this one's two blocks wide. And we'll make this go on a diagonal to connect with the front area. Next up, we'll add in another brick wall right here, another brick fence on top. Dark oak fence gate, top of that. Another one in front of that. And then two chains. One, two, as well as a spruce fence gate. Open that up. Then we're going to add in a stone brick slab right above all the stone brick that we placed earlier. Making a nice wall. And we'll also add in a polish and a site block right there. And then we'll take out a birch trap door and we'll add that to the sides of this gun just to act as the shields, like so. All right, so next let's go off to this notch here. 
and we're going to add in six iron bars. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we'll add in two blocks wide, spruce fence. Then we'll open up a dark oak fence gate and then a birch fence gate open up towards it. Skip a block and then we're going to repeat this pattern. So two blocks wide, spruce fence gate, dark oak uh, fence gate, open that up. Birch fence gate, open that up there. And we'll do the same thing again. So skip a block, two blocks wide, spruce fence gate, fences, uh, dark oak fence gate, open that up. And then birch fence gate, open that up. And then there's going to be an iron uh, bar like that. Now let's go back over here and we're going to add iron bars on top of this gray concrete all the way across as well as this gray concrete. And then we'll make it so the iron bars are connected going outside a little bit just like that. All right, so next we're to go right behind this dark oak fence gate and I'm going to add in this deep slate uh, brick wall. I'm going to do this for all of them at the same time. Then we'll add in a dark oak fence gate on top, open it up towards the outside for all of them. Add another fence gate, open up towards the left hand side for all of them. Then we'll add in a polished just basalt right side up like this, uh, right next to those fence gates like that. And we'll add another one. This one's going to be horizontally uh, to the side of that fence gate at the very top. So it should be looking like this. All right, so next we're gonna go in between these two depth charges and we'll add in a dark oak fence, four blocks tall like this. At the top, we'll add in two chains going horizontal outwards. After that, we'll add in a birch fence gate here, open that up. Diagonally from that, we'll add in uh, this two block wide deep slate brick wall like this. And we're gonna do the same thing so it lines up with the other depth charges. So there's gonna be one here, another one right here. So it lines up. After that, we'll add in a horizontal um, polished basalt, you know, two blocks wide on top of each of these walls like this. Very cool. All right, so next we'll go in the front of this block and we're gonna make this segment so it's five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. Corner it and we'll make this part seven blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to add in a polished andesite block and then five stones. So one, two, three, four, five. Then polished andesite slab, I mean block again like that. And then we'll add in nine uh, stones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Then we're going to angle it and we're going to add in tough. So we are block. And then we're going to um, angle, actually add in stone behind it. And then we'll angle it and then add in polish and a slight block. And then angle, add in stone like this. So once we have uh, this segment here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to make it three blocks tall. So I'm just going to raise it up two blocks. Um, so it should be looking like this. After we've done that, we'll add in a dark oak um, fence gate. We'll add in two blocks wide here. Open them both up like so. And I'm going to add in also a stone button to the middle of these polished andesite uh, blocks because that's going to be our doorway. And then for this segment here, we'll add in three blocks tall spruce fence gates. Open them all up. All right, next up, we'll add in a stone. And we're going to go in front of this store. And I'm going to add in three slabs like that. While the other side, we'll just add one slab there. And then we'll connect the two sides together just like that. All right, next we'll go to the side of this, skip two blocks, and then add in an end rod two blocks long like this. Skip a block two blocks long, and then we'll add another one going horizontally. And then down here on the edge, we'll add in another two end rods like this so that they all uh, align. And then we'll add in a stone brick stairs. It's gonna be three blocks wide like this, upside down on the sides. Then we'll go diagonally up, and we'll add in another stone brick. Uh, stairs and we're gonna make it so it's cornered and it's gonna be five blocks wide just like that then we'll add in um, iron bars and we're gonna add it so it goes across this edge and it sticks out a little bit here and I think yeah it's gonna be three blocks long here and then we'll add another three blocks long here and then we'll make this part stick out like that and connect the two sides together 
going across. All right, and then this bar here goes in a block, and then we'll go all the way across over here. And I think we'll go open up like that. And then skip this block here, and then we'll make it go zigzag all the way across to the edge in the middle like that. Then we're going to go line up with this middle depth charge and go straight. And then we'll add in a stone block like that. Now for the rest of this segment, like the floor here, we're going to fill that in using using uh, cyan terracotta. So it should be looking like this. All right, so next let's go to this level here. And we'll make this four blocks long. So one, two, three, four. Angle it, add in three. Angle it, add in two. Angle it, add in polish and a slate block. Angle it, add in stone. And we're going to make this part so it's going to be three blocks tall. So I'm just extending that all up to match up with that layer and the polish in as well. And then fill in the inside with cyan terracotta all the way across like so. All right, so next up, we'll add in a stone brick block right here. And we're going to add in so it's three on an angle like this. And we'll make this part five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. Then we'll add in another two right there. Go back here, we'll add in another two stone blocks. And then stone brick slabs right above this stone brick blocks. Cross like that. All right, so next we'll take out iron bars and we're gonna add it in the gap right here. As well as um, eight blocks here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we'll add it nine stone brick blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we'll add another one at diagonal, front and the back of this. Next up, we'll skip a block here and go diagonally outwards, add in another brick a wall, another brick fence on top, as well as a dark oak fence gate here. Make it two blocks long. And then a birch fence gate underneath, open that up. Another birch fence gate to the side. Open that up. In the back of this, we'll add in a spruce fence gate. Open that up. And then two chains. Just like that. And we'll do the same thing over here. Just skip a block. Add in our nether brick wall. Fence. And just keep on uh, rebuilding. You know, the same exact thing here. And later, I'm going to add in the shields. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. The perch fence gates. So there's one in the front here. Open that up. And then one on the side. And for our birch uh, shields, that's going to be a trap door. So we'll just add one right here, open that up. Another one here. Side, open that up. And then over here, same thing. And um, yeah, that's all we're doing right now. Hopefully this is in the right position. Yeah, that looks about right. And then we'll add in a stone brick slab right above all these stone brick blocks. So fill that in all the way across just like so all right so next we'll take out stone and we're going to make this segment so four blocks long one two three four and then we'll add in three blocks tall polish and site and then stone block here and then we'll add in five polish and site stairs but the last one's going to be cornered then we'll skip a block add in an andesite wall here as well as a red nether brick wall on top then behind, we'll add in a stone. It would be three blocks here. And stone on top, make it go all the way across. Just like that. And we're going to add a stone block here, three blocks tall. Then make this part, you know, all three blocks tall. And the inside of this, fill this in. And then there's going to be, uh, yeah, right next to this part. And then behind it, I think, yeah, three blocks tall like this. Then two blocks tall here. And then in this gap, we'll add in a stone slab. It goes across like this. Inside, we'll add in sandstone wall, two of them here, and then a dark oak fence gate. Open that up towards the front. Then we're going to add in stone brick block here. We'll make it 14 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Then underneath, we'll add in stone blocks going all the way across, right underneath. And after that, we'll add in three blocks tall of polished andesite block, stone bun here in the middle, as well as a stone bun in the middle of this door right there. 
All right, next we'll add in four iron bars here. So one, two, three, four. Then we'll add in five stone blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. Make it two blocks tall. And then two blocks wide. Gonna look a giant prism. And then we will add in um, seven stone slabs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then a stone stairs. Just like that. All right, then we'll go to this notch over here on top. We'll add in stone and we're gonna extend this so it goes all the way to the back. After we do that, we'll add in an andesite stairs, dangling up from the other stairs like that. And then an andesite block here and then iron bars going all the way across the side of this. Then we'll go in the front of this. We'll add in another two stone blocks, so one, two. And then two stone slabs, so one, two, like that. All right, then we're going to add in three iron bars here. So one, two, three. Skip block, add another one here. And then three blocks tall, cobblestone wall. Diagonally back, add in two blocks tall, cobblestone wall. And then diagonally inwards, another um, cobblestone wall like this. Then let's go down here and add in polish andesite. I mean, just regular andesite, I mean. I will make a two block wide, three block tall, like this. And we'll make this part actually, you know, four blocks tall like that. Then we'll go on the inside of this, we'll add another four block tall, and a site just like that. Go diagonally and add in a two by three of polished anisite. Two block wide, stone buttons there in the middle, and then anisite right on top of it, two blocks wide. Then over here, we'll add in an anisite wall here. And then uh, we'll add an andesite block here. And then down below, we'll add an andesite slab, and then andesite. And then we're gonna extend this pattern so it goes across the other side, just a slab in the block. So I don't know how long this is gonna take. So it should be looking like that. All right, so it should be looking like this. And then we'll add in um, andesite block here, andesite slab on top, and then andesite block here and then andesite stairs. Then there should be four andesite slabs, so one, two, three, four. And then an andesite block. And then we're gonna actually go over here and add in an andesite slab here and extend that so it goes all the way right up to the front. Then we'll add in a cobblestone wall. That's going to be three blocks tall here. Go diagonally, add another one here. So next up, we'll add in a cobblestone um, slab. So there's going to be uh, one on a diagonal here. And then another one on a diagonal. And underneath, it's going to be a chain. And then over here, we'll add in a cobblestone slab, diagonally up. And then another one diagonally up this way. So these two actually line up with each other. And then we'll also add in that chain going vertically like that. All right, so next up, let's go right over here and we'll add in five of these stones. So one, two, three, four, five. And we'll make it three blocks tall. Then we'll add in a three block tall polished andesite. It'd be a door with a stone button in the middle. Then we'll add in stone brick blocks, seven blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Down below here, skip a block, two blocks tall, stone brick, skip a block, another two here. And we'll add in stone in the gaps. Right over here, two blocks tall stone, and then another two stones like that. Also add in a cyan terracotta. It's going to be going, you know, two blocks wide like this all the way up to the outside. Um, just like this. And then we'll add in this polished deep slate um, slab, just three blocks wide like that. Go right over here, skip block, and add in two block wide here. And then fill in this gap here with um, cyan terracotta like this. Now for this gap here, we'll just fill this in with a polish uh, deep slate. So it should be looking like this, very nice. And then we'll add in a birch fence gate. So there's gonna be one here, open that up. Another one next to this door, open it up. Two block tall, end rod here. And uh, punch in a hole here, skip block, punch in another hole. Oak planks in the gaps, and then a sandstone wall inside. Then over here, we'll add in um, Cobblestone stairs right on top of each other, skip block another pair just like that. Then I'm going to add in a stone block right here, lines up with that cobblestone stairs, and we'll go to the other side 
And then we'll add in two blocks wide here, as well as two block wide stone and slabs on top. And then stone is going to go all the way across the side of this. Just like so. Alright, so then we're going to go line up where this cobblestone stairs is, add in a stone block. Go on this end here, and add in two block wide stone. And two block wide stone slabs on top. And then stone going all the way across the side of this. And then we'll connect the inside of this with, um, say, an terracotta like that. Goes all the way across, as well as this part here, and we might as well fill in uh, the rest of this with cyan terracotta inside, just like so. Alright, after you do that, let's go back over here, and we'll add the, the torpedoes for this one. So, let's go first, um, line up where this stone block is. And then right above it, we'll add in um, stone brick stairs. This is actually going to be facing that way, uh, hovering, uh, just like that. And then a stone stairs facing this way. And then an andesite block. And then three stone brick stairs. One, two, three. Another andesite block. And three more stairs. One, two, three. And this time upside down, andesite stairs. And then two stone brick um, slabs like that. Alright, then let's go over here. We'll add in a polished andesite slab on top. And then we'll add in a daylight detector. And then three blocks long, polish andesite block. And then we'll make it stick out like this. And then polish andesite slabs on top, just like so. And next up, let's go to this middle andesite block. And we'll add in three blocks wide of stone. We'll make a T-shape. And then we'll add in andesite walls in the corners. And then in the middle here, we'll add in uh, acacia fence gates, two of them like that. Open it up like so. All right, so next up, we're going to add in uh, stone brick um, slabs. We'll make a two by two here. Add another two um, and the site stairs like that. And this side, we want to add in a two by three of stone brick stairs facing inwards. And then another two and site blocks and then a stone brick stairs facing inwards and um, right here more and a site blocks like that and we're to continue our stone brick stairs that are facing inwards and this may actually be a little bit tricky to do the last one maybe we have to temporarily remove that block just to add it there it happens so it should be looking like that and then we'll go down underneath we'll add in two block wide a smooth stone slab like that and then we'll add in a 2x2 two two of stone brick stairs just facing inwards. And like that, two blocks wide, polish, and sight. That, a daylight detector here, and a dark, I mean, an iron trap door. We can make these blue so these guys can actually close up like that. Then we'll add in a stone button that's going to go across, whoa, wrong block, uh, right across the and sight uh, sections like this, just to add a little more detail. And then we'll add in stone buttons to the side of the andesite blocks. Alright, so now let's go right over here. And we're going to add in um, this middle part here. A stone block with um, andesite in the front wall in the front and the back of this like so. And we will also add in a stone brick slab. We'll make it 2x2 two two here. And then 2 block long um, andesite slab. And then extend this part with stone brick slabs like that as well. So I think, yeah, we'll just fill in the top part as well. And then we'll add another row here. And then uh, polish, I mean, just regular andesite slabs like that. And then right here, three blocks long uh, stone brick slabs. And we'll fill it at the top of the bottom of this. That looks like that. And then this part here is going to be our andesite. Like so. Then we'll add in stone brick slabs underneath, make it a two by three, and then upside down um, stone brick stairs are gonna be facing inwards. Um, just like this. Sorry, griefing myself right now. Um, like that. <laughs> and then over here, we'll extend this. So there's gonna be another deep slate brick stairs on the edge, and then polish and a slight slab there in the middle. We'll also add in another stone bun here. Alright, then we'll go to this block here. We'll add another layer of stone on top. 
And then we'll add in the middle of this three blocks wide of stone brick block. Add a diagonal, another one. And diagonal, add in three blocks long. Same thing on the other side. Then on top of all this, we'll add in stone brick slabs. Just to make it a little bit taller. And then down here, we'll add in a stone brick. I mean, iron trap doors. They should be five blocks long. Just to make it two blocks wide. Uh, just like that. Alright, so next up, let's go inside. We'll add in three iron trap doors here. Then we'll add in a stone, two blocks long here in the middle. And then polish and site block on either side of this. And the cobblestone wall in these corners. And then a smooth stone slab right after the wall like that. Then we'll add in a T-shape of iron trap doors. Then we can add in um, cobblestone slab here, these front edges. And then iron trap doors, two blocks long in the front and the back of that. Next up, we'll add in three blocks wide of iron bars like this. And then the middle, we'll add in a polished and I mean polished diorite slab there. And alongside that's going to be andesite walls like this. Behind that, it's going to be uh, polished andesite stairs, just like that. And then to the side, we'll add in a birch uh, fence right there. Then I'm going to add in three blocks wide, iron bars right here. And then a cobblestone stairs here, stone brick stairs on the other side. Then I'm going to add in stone brick slab right above these walls. And then a stone brick stairs right behind it like that. Then we'll add in three blocks long of this dark oak fence gate for both the guns here. Open them all up towards the inside. And we'll add in a spruce fence gate. It's going to be one here, open it up, another one on the other side, open that up. As well as the middle part, we'll add in an acacia fence gate. Open that up as well, then let's go down here, add in a spruce uh, trapdoor right after that stairs on both sides. Then we'll add in a stone brick wall right behind each of these stairs, and then a skeleton skull behind that as well. Then right over here on this edge, we can add in a stone slab, just two blocks wide here. And then a polished deep slate slab, add in a row across like that. All right, next up, let's go on the inside of this, where this starts. We'll make it two by two like that, of polished um, deep slate uh, slabs. And then we'll fill in all the rest of the parts in the front like that. While well, everything behind it's gonna be this uh, cyan terracotta. And we'll just uh, fill this area in. So it should be filled in like that. All right, so next up, let's go right next to this slab. And we're gonna add in a stone brick stairs. Now this is gonna be right side up like that. Underneath, we'll add in a stone block. And then we'll add in two stone blocks here. A polish andesite stairs here. A polish andesite slab here. A skeleton skull in the front. And then an andesite uh, wall that's going to be right in the middle of this. Down below, we'll add in polish andesite slab. Then down here, we'll add in stone block. You know, might as well make it a two by two like that. Uh, might as well two by three goes all the way to the top. And then behind this wall, we'll add in a stone brick stairs like that. And the inside on top. Uh, we'll add in two stone slabs, like so. And then we'll go down here and add in a stone slab here. And then we'll add in a stone block right on top of this slab. Two blocks tall, we'll make it actually an L shape like that. In the middle of this, we'll add in smooth quartz, make an L shape. And then upside down L shape on both the uh, front and the back of this. Then we'll add in stone. Um, it's going to be four blocks long here, as well as stone behind these uh, smooth quartz like that, as well as the inside. Fill that in with stone. All right, so next up, we're going to add stone on top of all these parts that are sticking out. So just add in like that to each of them, like so. And let's go back over here. 
And uh, for this one, we'll add in a stone slab at the front of this. Stone block on top. Then another stone slab here. And then stone block on top. And then another stone slab here. And then a stone block on top right here. We'll make it three blocks long. And we'll make this go all the way down like this. And then we'll add in a stone brick stairs here. That stone slab here. And I'm going to change these into just slabs because apparently that's too tall like that. And we also got to rotate this stair, so it should be facing the front. All right. Then on the inside, we'll add in a polish and a site block here, as well as an iron trap door. Then a polished blackstone brick stairs. So uh, there's one of them going to face inwards like this. And then next, we'll add in another stairs right here, facing outwards. Another one facing inwards, and we'll fill this bit in with cyan terracotta. Then we'll add in a polish and site slab. It's going to be hovering above like that. And then a stone button right on top. And then three blocks long of polished blackstone brick slabs. Over here, we'll add in a diorite wall. And then a smooth stone slab with acacia fencecape behind it. Open that up. Cyan terracotta right underneath this wall. Just like that and we'll fill in the rest of the gaps in with polished deep slate slab and a two by two right over here right all right so next up let's go in the back here and add an iron bar it's gonna be uh, two blocks tall we'll make this part stick out like that and i'm gonna add an iron bar so it goes around the perimeter towards the front of the bow and once we get it here you can go up diagonally and we're going to try to continue our way however we can. And I hope I'm doing this right. Yeah, I think it should be like that. All right, so next we're going to make this iron bar here, three blocks long. So one, two, three. And we'll add in a stone brick slab here. And then a stone block right underneath it. Um, in this front area, we'll add in a stone slab here. Stone block, two blocks long. Stone slab underneath, and then a stone block. And then right over here is going to be a stone slab like that. And then we'll add in another three stone here. So one, two, three. So you enter a cut on inside. And, we, and then we'll add in a stone block here, and then fill in this gap with Sayan terracotta like this. Also add in some more um, iron bars. So there's going to be uh, three of them. And we're going to have one part sticking out, just like that. Okay, so next up, we'll add polished deep slate slab. And we're going to extend this so it goes all the way to the edge here. At the edge, we'll add in a stone slab here. And we're going to make it four slabs long. And then a stone brick stairs facing the back. And then four more of these stone slabs, like that. Go down underneath here. We'll add in um, a stone slab here. And then a stone block stone slab here and then off to the next one I guess so right over here a uh, stone block and then a stone slab stone block on top and we'll make this two blocks long and then two blocks long stone slab should be like that and then we'll add in a stone block two blocks wide right there all right so then we'll work on the last slope so let's go right here add in a stone block next to it and then we'll add in two stone slabs. And then we'll make it two by two, so two on top. And then another two right at the tip. And then we'll add in a stone stairs here. Stone slab. And the stone stairs facing the other direction like that. Then we're going to add in four stone slabs. So one, two, three, four. And then stone stairs here. Stone slab. And then stone stairs facing the other direction like so and then we'll add in stone block right around to this one you know two blocks tall and then we'll connect these top area together all right so after we've done it we're going to fill in all these like gaps here with stone just goes vertically down filling in 
All right, so once you filled it in, it should be looking like that. So next up, let's go add in some lifeboats right above the stair segment. So we'll add in three blocks long of stone brick stairs right on top of both segments like that. And the, you know, the lifeboat design is actually uh, pretty simple. It's just like stairs like this. Again, uh, like that. Upside down and right side up. Upside down, right side up, and then upside down here. And for this first lifeboat, we'll add in a pair of these uh, spruce uh, fences like that. While the other one, we'll add in levers instead. Like so. Then we'll add in iron uh, bars that's going to be going in between uh, each of these segments here, right on top of the edge. And we want it to like, whenever you like want to connect the two sides together, you can go on the outside of the hole. Well, apparently not for this one. This one's apparently goes up like this and goes across all the way and should connect up with this part here. So it should be looking like this. Then we're to go right to where we have the cobblestone slab underneath. We'll make it two blocks long, say in terracotta. And then we'll add in uh, this polished deep slate slab, two blocks here. And then we'll fill in the area in front of it, these slabs all the way across, just like that. And we'll also fill in this part here with uh, say in terracotta, all these gaps, if you see anything down there. Then over here, we'll fill this part in with cyan terracotta. It's all the way across like that. All right, so next we'll add in cyan terracotta. Let's go on inside this part, add in the floor here. And we can extend that so it matches up the other side. Fill all this part in just like that. All right, then we'll go off to this segment here. And we're going to make a 2x2 two two of stone. Alright, so next let's go off to this segment here, and we'll add in another two stones here. Then a polish in a site block here, make it three blocks tall. And then we'll add in stone diagonally here, two blocks long, diagonally another two. And then stone brick block, three blocks tall, another two blocks wide, stone brick block there. And we'll make the rest of this three blocks tall of regular stone all the way across. Then we'll make a two by two of stone. So it goes down a little bit. And then we'll add in a stone stairs upside down and wrap stone around it. Just like that. And we'll add in an iron um, bar on top. And we're going to wrap this all the way around, you know, this edge perimeter and it goes inside this time all right so after that we'll add in polish in a slate block we'll make it three blocks tall here and then a stone bun in the middle down here we'll add in a red nether brick wall then we'll add in a stone block on top and this is going to extend all the way until we meet up with that other wall just like that then we'll add in three blocks wide of stone brick blocks here so just like that and on a diagonal add another one here diagonally and another one make this part three blocks long and then we'll add in diagonally another two blocks that and this part right over here diagonally another two blocks uh, just like that and then we'll add in a stone brick slab right on top of all the stone brick cross like that all right so next up let's go right over here and we'll add in three blocks tall stone and three blocks tall polish anisite block. Then we'll add in stone buns here in the middle of all these polish anisites. All right, then we'll add in stone blocks, two blocks wide here. And another one on a diagonal here. And we'll make it three blocks tall for now. Then go here, go diagonally, add another stone. And then diagonally, another stone. And we'll extend this so it goes all the way up to this part. And we're gonna rise up this level so they're all three blocks tall. Just like that. And we can fill in the floor in with Cyan Terracotta. All the way across. Just like that. Alright, so next up we'll add in a red nether brick wall here. 
2 by 2 of dark oak stairs. And then we'll go over here, skip a block, and we'll add in upside down snowbrick stairs, right side up. And we're going to make another one of these lifeboats on its side. Just like that. And we'll also add in uh, two blocks tall, diorite, um, just like that. Skip a block here, add in cobblestone stairs, um, right side up and upside down like that. We'll also add in a spruce fence gate here, make it two blocks tall. I'm trying to make a ladder so they open up in different directions. And dangling up, add in another two of these uh, fence gates opened up in opposite directions. And then we'll also add in some end rods. So that's going to be right next to this uh, fence gate. Make it two blocks tall like that. And then we'll go dangling in the front of it and we'll add in another two end rods like that. Then we'll add in uh, three stone uh, blocks like that and then uh, two block wide uh, polished deep slate slabs going all the way across like so a little, a little platform and then we'll add in stone slabs across the perimeter just like that all right so next we'll add in end rods so they line up with these levers here so just extend them up a little bit and then we'll punch in a hole here and we'll add in three blocks tall of tough one two three Add three of these spruce fence gates, open them all up. Then we'll add in stone stairs, gotta be facing outwards away from the tuff. And then we'll fill in the rest of this wall in with um, actually stone. So we'll try to make it, you know, three blocks tall for now. Mate, it might actually be four, but I'll just do three for right now. Fill that in, cross. Yeah, I think it's four, so I'll just make it go block down stone across uh, just like that and we'll actually add in another tuff underneath this part just like so then we'll go in the front part right where this uh, red nether brick wall is and uh, underneath that we'll add in a polished deep slate slab just two blocks wide like that and we're gonna fill in the rest of this whole area in with uh, this polished deep slate slab all the way across Right to that back section. Like that. And actually, never mind. This part here, uh, it's actually going to be Saiyan. My bad. Saiyan Durkata. Fill that in like that. And yeah, we'll change these blocks here just two by two Saiyan. All right. Then we're going to add in black glass behind each of these windows that we have here. So that there's three of these windows. Just fill that in with glass. And then we'll fill in the floor of this with uh, Saiyan. Uh, terracotta goes all the way across so that it should be looking like that. All right, then we're going to go inside this nest and we're going to add in three of these uh, spruce trap doors and close them all up like that. Also, the bottom of this, we'll add in uh, this iron trap door at the bottom of this level. Going it all the way around just like that. And then we're going to add in another two spruce trap doors here. And the other side, we're just going to add one like that. All right, so next up, we're going to add an anvil. And that's going to line up in the middle of the circle, if you can imagine where that is. Like that. And then in the back of it, we'll add in uh, upside down spruce um, stairs like that, spruce trap door, and then a spruce sign. Behind it in the front, well, I can add in an iron trap door like that. And then an andesite wall on top. Polished andesite stairs facing the back. And then a stone brick slab here, stone brick stairs. And then a stone brick wall here, skeleton skull behind it. And then three dark oak fence gates for the gun. Open them all up, just like that. All right, so next up, we can add in an iron bar. So they're going to be three like that, like an L shape. And we'll add one here, make it stick out. And then we're going to extend it so it goes one block before the ladder that we have there. Then we'll add in a spruce fence here, three blocks tall. Skip a block, another one here, two blocks tall. 
and then an Acacia fence gate in between. Over here, I'll skip two blocks and then add in um, two blocks tall of spruce um, fence like that. All right, so next up, let's go over here. And we'll add in a polished uh, deep slate slab. We'll add in four blocks long here. Polish in a side stairs next to the other one. And then four blocks long of stone, just like that. And then we'll add in iron bars. So there's going to be one next to this stairs. And I'm going to make it five blocks long, goes all the way across like that. And then we'll add in another three cyan terracottas. And then we'll add in a polish in a site. It's going to be three blocks tall here. And then three blocks tall of stone. Go on a diagonal and add in another three blocks tall stone. And then three blocks tall of andesite. And then a three by three of stone. And then three blocks tall, polish andesite. Three blocks tall of stone. Diagonally, we'll add in stone, three blocks tall. Diagonally, another three blocks tall of stone. And then we'll extend it so it goes meets up with the front part of this. Then we'll add in stone button to the middle of these polish and site doors. So one there should be another door here, as well as this door here in the front. And this one right here in the back. And then we'll add in another layer of stone just all the way across this border. Just like so. All right, so next up, let's go right over here. We'll add in this polish deep slate slab, and that's gonna be going across like this. And then we'll add in um, stone. So that's going to be two blocks wide here, two blocks tall, and a site. Uh, and a site wall in the corner here in the front as well. And then light gray glass pane, just two blocks tall like that. And then stone, two blocks tall right there. And then three blocks long of stone. All right, so let's go work on the funnel here in the back as well. So uh, right here, I will add in um, stone. It's going to be, I guess, uh, I don't know, maybe like uh, four blocks long like that. Two blocks wide stone and a site wall in the front and the back. And then two blocks tall of andesite, two blocks tall of stone, and then light gray glass pane right there in the gap. And I think also the gap here in the front as well. And then three blocks long of stone. That, let's go back into the front. And we'll add in two blocks tall of light gray glass pane here as well. All right, so let's go back into this first funnel here. And we're going to add in two blocks tall, cobblestone, skip block, two blocks tall, cobblestone, and then two blocks tall of actually regular stone right there in the middle. Then we'll add in polished deep slate slabs. So it's going to be um, five blocks long here. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll add in another two by two blocks wide there. And then we'll add in three blocks wide sticking out as well as uh, iron bars. So this is going to be wrap it around the edge here so it should go around like that next we'll add in a stone brick wall here then calcite block a spruce trap door on top dark oak fence gate on the side open that up a spruce fence gate in the back open that up and then um a birch trap door close that up so looks like that and then we'll add in light gray glass pane, three blocks tall like that. And then we're going to add in two blocks wide, polish and site blocks here. And then a smooth stone slab right there. All right, so now let's work on the funnel here in the back. So we'll add in another three stone blocks like that. And then stone slab in the front and the back of it, just like that. Then we'll make a two by two here, stone slab, and then another one in this corner. Then we'll add in iron trap doors so that there's going to be uh, two here, another two here. Add in iron bars, that's going to be three blocks long here. And then we're going to add in another two here on the diagonal. And then we'll wrap it around making an L shape like that. 
And then on this side, we'll make an L shape of iron trap doors like that. And we'll make a zigzag so it goes all the way back to, you know, the main chimney or whatever. So then we'll add in polish and a site two blocks wide here, two blocks wide stone, and then two blocks wide cobblestone, and then two blocks wide stone. And then we'll add in light gray glass pane, you know, four blocks tall right there, as well as another four right here in the back. Then we're going to add in a nether brick uh, fence here. And then we want a grindstone wheel so that it's actually um, facing upwards. So it should be looking like that. Alright, so next up let's go inside here and we can fill in the floor of this with uh, Sayan terracotta. All the way across this. Whatever it's exposed, just fill this in. Alright, once we filled it in, it should be like that. Then we'll go over here, and we're going to make this stone slab, so it's going to be three blocks long. So one, two, three, on the diagonal, two, diagonal, another two. After that, we'll add in stone stairs underneath these uh, slabs, so it goes like that. And this one faces outwards, like that, another one faces outwards, and like that. And then once we're at this point, we'll add another stone slab um, underneath. You know what? We'll just add the stone slabs underneath every one of these outer edges like that. And then we'll add in another stone slab here. Then two blocks long. Smooth stone slab like that. Then a stone slab over here. Stone block on top. Stone slab on top of that. Then we'll go on a diagonal and add in seven of these stone slabs, so three, four, five, six, seven like that. Then we'll add in stone on top, and then stone slab on top of that. Then we'll add in a light gray glass pane here. Maybe another block is for birch shot there. That works as well. And then a spruce fence right there. And then we'll add in an andesite wall. That's going to be one over here. And then we'll need a grindstone wheel, so it faces like that. And then we're going to add in three blocks tall of nether brick fence like that. And then three blocks long of upside down stone brick stairs. And we'll add in cobblestone stairs facing the front three blocks wide as well. And then we'll add in polished deep slate slabs, so that's going to be extending like that all the way across the sides, just extend it. I think this part as well, just extend that. So it should be like that. And once we're at this point, in this section, we'll add in a stone stairs to be connected like that. And then at the top part, we'll add in an acacia trap door right here, close it up. Uh, skeleton skull here, skip block, skeleton skull, and then gray carpets on top of the fence. And in the front corner, we'll add in a stone brick wall here. And a grindstone wheel so that it's going to be uh, just like that. Cool. Alright, so next up, let's go in the front of this. We'll add in two upside down stone stairs here. And a stone slot, I mean stone block there. And then we'll go down below and add in stone so it lines all the way down across like that then we can add in two block tall stone two block tall polish um, andesite and then upside down polish andesite stairs it's gonna be uh, facing towards the front upside down and then upside down stone stairs here then we'll add in um, stone it's going to be four blocks long here Three blocks tall, just like that. And then a gray carpet over here. And then uh, three blocks tall, polish in a sight. So one, two, three. Then two blocks wide, three blocks tall of stone. And then we can add in two blocks tall and a sight. Stone brick block on top with a stone button. Uh, birch fence gate in the back, open that up like so. And then we'll add in a birch fence gate. It's going to be on top of this doorway. 
to block stall, open them both up. Down below, we'll add in, say, Antarctica, then two blocks on a diagonal of black glass, and we'll add in a gray carpet right above the glass, and then, say, Antarctica, fill in the rest of the floor of this level, in like that, and we can leave that part alone for now. Then we'll add in a birch trap door over here, we'll close that up, like so. And then we'll add in iron bars that's going to be on the perimeter. So we'll wrap that around the outside and then another area right there. And then we'll add in another brick fence and then a dark oak fence gate that's going to be right on the top of this. Alright, so after that we'll add in stone buns in the middle of uh, these <laughs> doors. I was going to say wheels for some reason. Then we'll add in two blocks wide of cobblestone here. And then um, two blocks tall, polished andesite. And then an andesite block here, and then two by two stone, and then two blocks tall stone here. And then two blocks wide, light gray glass pane. Then we'll add in skeleton skull, two on a diagonal. Birch fence gate here, open that up. As well as iron bars, it's going to be three blocks tall right there. Stone button over here. And then a stone brick slab right underneath it, like so. And then we'll add in an L shape of stone buttons in the front of this. At the side, we'll add in a skeleton skull right there. Alright, so next up, let's go to this cobblestone layer here. Add in two blocks all of spruce fence gate. Open the one at the bottom up towards the middle, the one at the top towards the outside, and then a diorite wall here. And a skeleton skull on top. Alright, then we'll go up to this layer here and we'll add an iron trap door. We'll make it six blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we'll add in stone buttons. That's going to be four blocks long right at the top. Then we'll go at the top and add in another brick fence here and an iron bar to the side. I mean, iron trap door to the side of this one, making it wider. And we'll add in light gray carpet on top. And let's go down here and make another lifeboat. So, and we'll go on a diagonal and add in a diorit wall here. And a skeleton skull in the back of it. In the front, we'll add in three blocks long of smooth quartz slab. Diagonally, add in another uh, three like that. Then we'll add in smooth quartz slab on top. And then an upside down smooth quartz stairs. Just like that. Then we'll add in a smooth quartz um, slab here, another slab on top. And then we'll add in smooth quartz slab here. It's going to be uh, two blocks long. Add it underneath as well. Then go on a diagonal, add another one, three blocks long. Then I guess it's like a solid block like that. Then we'll add in the inside of this. It's going to be um, spruce stairs, so there's going to be three of them here. And then we'll add in uh, two cobblestone walls right behind it. And the other side will pretty much kind of do the same thing. So I think this part just like a uh, upper. That kind of doing the same thing here. And then we'll add in a white glass pane. So there's going to be um, three of them here and then another three right there on the side. Then we're going to add in a smooth quartz slab here, and then two blocks stall here, and then a slab on the sides. As well as iron trap door, two blocks long here, and another two, just like that. I'm going to add in iron trap doors on either side of this. Other side's going to be two blocks long, white glass pane. Another smooth quartz slab right there at the very tip. Alright, so once you've done it, we're going to copy everything that we did on this side and build it the other half. Alright, so once you have both sides, it should be looking like this. Very cool. Now let's make the guns. So for the guns, since they're all similar, like 99% the same, I'm just going to show you how to build one and then you can just apply it to the rest of the ship. So here is an example what we have. Like I laid out the where it's supposed to be so we have a frame so to build on it first off we'll take out a stone brick block just add one in the corner here 
Then we'll add in another two here. Then we'll add in two cobblestone. Actually, you just make an L shape of cobblestone like that. Then we'll add in a stone brick block on top. And behind we'll add in a stone block here. Another stone block over here. And we'll make this go all the way to the top. Then we'll add in two blocks tall and a site wall here. As well as a polish and a site that's going to be two blocks tall over here. And then a stone stairs here. Another one so it's facing the front. And then we'll add in a stone block here, fill this inside pit like that. And then we'll make an L shape of stone slabs like that. Stone stairs here. Stone slab, I mean stone block underneath. Another stone block over here. Um, and then stone block on the inside part as well as the side. Then we'll add in two skeleton skulls on a diagonal. And then a light gray glass panes, there's two of them over here. And another two here in the back. Then let's add in uh, andesite wall right there in that little nook. And then we're going to add in a stone bun to the side of this as well as the back part right there in the middle. So once we're done with that, we're going to copy the same thing that we did on this side onto the other side. Alright, so once we have both sides, it should look like this. So on this side, we can add in an acacia trapdoor. Let's add this, we'll close that up like so. And then on this side, we'll add in a polish and a site slab there. And then four blocks tall of spruce fence gates. And we'll open them all up just like that. And on this side, we can add in um, dark oak fence gate and open that up. So yeah, that's pretty much it on how to make this gun. Now we're to copy the same exact design and you'll have to just build it uh, for the rest of them over there. And then the over, of course, on the back. They flip the other direction, so just rotate them. Alright, so once we laid out all the guns, it should look like this. And now I'm going to modify it to make it slightly different. So go off to the second gun here. Change this into an iron trapdoor like that. And we'll change this acacia trapdoor into a dark oak fence gate. Open it up. While well, the other side is going to be that acacia trapdoor. Then we'll go off to the third gun here. And we'll just like rotate, <laughs> like flip the direction of these. So that they're on opposite sides like that. The dark oak fence gate here, acacia fence gate on the other side, and then we're going to do the same thing on this last naval gun, I believe. Yeah, I just replace that like so, and I think it should be good. Alright, so after that, let's go over here, back of this, we'll add in stone buttons, three blocks wide, just like that. We'll also add in a lever, so it's facing towards this little thing. And let's go in the front area. And uh, we'll skip a block here and add in three blocks wide of calcite, three blocks wide of diorite slabs. And then we'll go over here, skip a block, add an anvil here so it's offset from the gun. And we'll add in oak trap doors, open that up on both sides. Then we'll go off to the side over here and we'll add in the middle just an acacia trap door and close it up like so. All right, so then we'll go off to this part here. Add to side, acacia button, side of this, birch fence gate, I mean just birch fence, I mean, and then uh, iron trapdoor here, and then a smooth stone slab there. On the other side, we'll add in a smooth stone slab there, and then we'll go on the, for this gun here, we'll actually change this so, you know, if they face the same direction, so I'm going to rotate that, stairs. Add an acacia bun there, and we'll pretty much copy the same thing. Just build it on this side. Smooth stone slab, another smooth stone slab on this side. And then we'll add in a stone brick uh, stairs here. And then a spruce uh, sign to the side of that. And the other one, we'll do the same thing. Just building it piece by piece. These are quite complex. and. And then we'll add in spruce fence gate here, open it up, birch trap door over here, open it up, other side, we'll do the same thing, and open it up, just like so. Alright, next let's go on to this side, we'll change this acacia fence gate into a warped fence gate instead. Then we'll go up over here, next to this, we'll add in an acacia trap door and open it up like that. Alright, and then we'll go over here, add three blocks tall, 
polish andesite, stone button here in the middle, and then three blocks long of iron bars like that. Go over here, fill this in, three blocks tall, stone, three blocks tall of uh, spruce fence gates, open them all up just like that. And we'll go down here and add in uh, two spruce fence gates, diagonally down another two fence gates, and then we want to open them up so that they form this ladder shape. Just like that. All right, so now let's make the three leaf clover logo. So let's go here and we'll add in a warped fence here. Behind it, an upside down oxidized cut copper stairs like that. Another stairs on top, then another one upside down. And the other side will do the same thing, just this way, fence here. And then we'll add in our cop copper. And then two upside downs right over here. Just like that. Very cool. Okay, so next up we'll add in a uh, stone uh, brick wall. And we'll add this right here, diagonal to this, four blocks tall. It's going to be where our crane's going to be. And then add in a stone brick block on top. Stone brick stairs behind it. And then two slabs in front of that. And then two iron trap doors in front of that. Down below, we'll add in three iron iron trap doors. And we're going to make the same crane design over here. So uh, just punch in a hole there. And we'll add in cyan terracotta. If we can grab cyan terracotta right there. And then we'll add in our four blocks tall, stone brick wall, stone brick block here, stone brick stairs facing the back two stone brick slabs, two iron trap doors, and then three iron trap doors right underneath it like that. All right, so after that, let's go over here. And uh, we're going to skip a block, and we'll add in two blocks wide, diorite wall. On the other side, skip a block, two blocks wide, and a site wall, make it three blocks tall. And then we'll add in an iron trap door here, and we're going to make this connect to the other side. So. Just extend it like so. Then we'll add in iron bars wrapped around, but leave an opening for that. Then we're going to add in iron bars so it goes along this catwalk. Just on this side, apparently. Alright, then we're going to go down here. And uh, we're going to add in the middle. There should be... And then we'll go down here to the side, slightly offset from the center. Uh, it's going to... Alright, so next up, we'll go diagonally from this andesite wall, skip a block, add one right there. It's not going to be exactly in the middle. And then behind it, we'll add in a dark oak fence gate, open it up, daily detector, iron uh, trap door like that. Diagonally up, it's going to be a polished uh, andesite slab, and then a daylight detector. And then a uh, andesite wall here. And then a cobblestone stairs right on top. Okay, your fence gate in the back. Open that up. The other side, we'll add in a skeleton skull right there. We have a spruce fence gate next to it. Open it up. And a birch fence gate underneath. Open that up as well. All right, so next up, let's go over here. Add in two blocks tall spruce fence gate. Go down here. Add in another two. Deadly down another one. And then we'll open it up to form this ladder. And this one's actually a bit tricky, so I'm going to have to grief myself a little bit. And open it up so they alternate. So you can climb up to the nest just like that. All right, so now I'm going to work on this gun here. So we'll just add an iron trap door here. Smooth stone slab here. Birch fence here. Dagling up, another birch fence. That and in case you're button like so. I'm going to do the same thing on the other gun here, so I'm just doing two guns at the same time. In case you button, I trap door, um, smooth stone slab, and smooth stone slab, and then birch fence, another birch fence right there. And then on the other side, we'll add in at the bottom, going to be a smooth stone slab there. Down the back, we'll add in stone brick stairs, birch trap door here, open it up, spruce fence gate, open that up, 
And we'll do the same thing on this gun over here. Do, 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 do. You know, same thing. Stairs here. Trap door. Open that up. All right, so next up, let's go on this side. Go to this side here, punch in three here, fill this in. Uh, with this block tough, and in front of that's going to be three blocks tall of spruce fence gates. Open them all up. Now, also on this side, we'll go over here, go to where the slab is, and we'll make it two by two. Actually, first we'll do the bottom row. So two blocks wide, dark oak fence gates, open that up. There's the outside, and then on top, same thing, just facing inwards like that. Then we'll add in the bottom two chains facing outwards. And then we'll add in um, dark oak trap doors. So we're going to make sort of this pattern here. It looks like that. All right, then we'll go in the front and we'll just change this middle stairs to face the other direction. All right, so yeah, I think that is pretty much it on how to build. <laughs> Finally, how long is this tutorial video? Man, <laughs> I just want to go eat right now. Um, what are you guys thinking as well? Was this actually a hard tutorial to do? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, thanks again to Laffy for designing this build. The Destroyer USS The Sullivan's Fletcher class in Minecraft. If you would hit that like button down below, that would be appreciated. Subscribe if you had already. Check out our Discord and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.